there and welcome to Ragnarok and the community server. I've just been out on the boat, I've gathered plenty of metal and I'm looking around for somewhere to set up my main base. And I've just come out to one of the herbivore islands on Ragnarok and I reckon that this one's probably the biggest of the herby islands and it's still not been taken. Like I say, a few of the community have spread out along the coastline. They've taken quite a few of the spots, so I need to set up somewhere. And um, yeah, I'm kind of liking this place. I've never built here before, so somewhere else. And uh, there's plenty of metal around, so I think I'm going to settle here. Now, I need to get some crystal, and in order to do that, I really need to take to the skies because I can't tell the level of anything. What's this? A 60? See what I mean? I mean, is it even worth taming this? You know, maybe it be ends up being that dino that turns into the dino that gets us the dino we want. We've got to start somewhere in Ark, so hopefully this can actually <laughs> take off. But yeah, it's pretty low level. I don't know if getting this bowler back actually gives us it back. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, I've got enough kiting on the boat to make up a saddle. And yeah, and I've got some prime meat over there as well. Well, we'll give it a go. And let's say, hopefully, it helps us at least take to the skies. It's something to begin with, anyway. We didn't have quite enough to make the saddle, so I had to go and kill a couple more trikes just to get enough kiting together. But let's see if this thing can actually make it off the ground. I mean, the stats are pretty poor. It's less than 300 on the stamina, uh, which won't keep us in the air very long, but can it actually take off? I mean, we're carrying next to nothing and nope. We're fully encumbered. I mean, what else can we drop? Um, try dropping some of this meat, I suppose. Um, even the berries, I'm not carrying that much. I'll drop the coal. Surely it can make it into the air with this. Come on, you can do it. Only just. Well. We've managed to take to the skies, that's the main thing. I can have a little scout around these islands and perhaps we can have a look for something a little bit better than this. I don't know, it's difficult to tell what level things are. From here. Can't really tell without getting some crystal. I need that spyglass. So. Well, it's a cool colour, and hopefully you'll help me get some crystal together. But, I say the stamina. It's really not going to stay in the air too long. And if I'm over the ocean too long, it'll just end up coming back down to the ground. So, I don't know what that red one is. I've sort of just chased it towards the island. Maybe it'll come into land. Yeah, it looks like it's landing. Is this any better? This is difficult to do without a spyglass. Um, I'll just stay there. What level are you? A level 100. Um, well, that's better than what we've got. Oh, I'm into put trank darts in there. I didn't mean to shoot you in the head, pal. Oh, dear. What you like? It's okay. I've got some prime meat on the ship. So we grab this one, it might just give us a few more levels in stamina and just have a little bit more weight. Yeah, let's tame this one up and uh, that might be a better move. I'll just forget we tame this one. I'm just going to grab some prime meat. I've got some in the chiller just here. Okay. Well... Let's have a look what we got. So, 330 on the stamina already, so that, that was much better, even though I've put a couple of points into stamina on this one. So, you'll stay in the air a bit longer. Um, 
weights just a tiny bit better. It's just, yeah, it's still not great, but that should be enough just to get me some crystal and I can get my spyglass and then we can hunt for some better pterodons. But yeah, we'll just forget we tame this one and we'll keep the new one. Okay, so let me show you around what's going to be the base. We've managed to get a little bit of crystal, so I've got the spyglass now. And if we just come to the top here, you'll see there's loads of metal in here. So on the top, I think we'll end up doing a greenhouse. Now I'm just going to put a temporary greenhouse down at the top here, just to get us started. If we end up doing any breeding, it's just going to be handy to have a few different kibbles and things around. So we may as well get it started now. But look at all the metal here. So it's just shoved away in all of the corners leading up these stairs. So that's just going to give us quite a bit on our doorstep. And I think we can build something out here eventually that looks really nice. But for now, I'm just going to put a temporary garden down. So this is one of the mods that we're using. It's the bore and watering kit. This is literally all it is, is one pipe. And it just allows you to draw water from anywhere. So it's just going to save all of them pipe wipes going up the side of the cliffs and hopefully help everyone keep their builds nice and tidy. And I'll just get rid of this tree. Just using a cross pipe there but there's like half inclines and half shaped pipes and you can really kind of cable manage a lot better with this mod we're not obviously using the SS mod okay so three should do it now, I'm not gonna be able to put a greenhouse up just yet I'm gonna need perhaps a couple of RGs in order to haul plenty of crystal over here so we can get something built up but for now this will do just want to put five of these down get one of each of the vegetables growing and perhaps just another one for some narco berries might help out although saying that Abby's doing pretty well at grabbing the narco berries It's just that one that's not irrigated. It should be able to get irrigated from where it is. It catches up. There we go. So they're all irrigated. We need to get some fertilizer on the go. So we need to tame up a phenomia. And there's plenty of them on the island. I'd say this island actually is really quite big. Just over there, it's like a farmland area. It's quite a lot of detail up here. And yeah, just around the corner here, there's this like horseshoe, which is yeah, kind of a similar idea to what was going on with Herbivore Island on the island map. And now we got our spyglass. Oh, it's the super spyglass. Might end up turning some of that information off. We have turned some of the settings off. May as well go for this 130. It's just going to be a poop machine. But yeah, with the spyglass, you can even tell how much torpor something's taking as well. We've left the GPS on. That was just in case, I don't know, any of the members needed to put a shout out so they could tell us where they were. But I'll probably end up switching that off. Switch this also got the dodo rex there as well, but yeah, just some stuff to help out the community. The mods are not too heavy, I must admit. I do like being able to see the wild stats and numbers at the sides, that really does help. Okay, just grab some medjos, just gonna use this in order to get. Some fertilizer started, that'll do. Just the poop pig. And that'll do it. <laughs> that should be enough to get us started. Okay, so I've just got some thatch on Abby here. Eventually I'll get some dung beetles, they're always handy. 
get a few of them and fertilizer's not really a problem but this is a good early way of getting started and getting a few veggies started so just shove some of that in there get some fertilizer eventually and uh, we'll just put the rest of the poop in here that'll at least get our seedlings growing they're fully irrigated just no greenhouse effects so we will get a little bit and eventually we'll obviously do something nice with a greenhouse up here I've got a few ideas what we can do 150 well we may as well take it might be better than what we have and uh, I like the colors but I'm seeing plenty of Tranodons around these islands so I'm gonna keep an eye out for a few good levels and maybe we can just play around with some basic breeding with these guys put a little bit of speed a little bit of weight on them and that'll be a good way to get around the map so there's another one to get us started Yeah, I'm just going to keep scanning around these islands, seeing what else we can find. Definitely need to see if we can get an Anki. That'll help gathering all of the metal that we've got up the staircase in our base. Okay, so that was a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. Two trikes getting involved in on this one. But a 135 Anki will do nicely. safe up here anyway okay start to torpor run don't want it to go into the ocean and I'm just on the island opposite to the one I'm on all right let's get down there Just called the Pterodon Sven. Again, I'm going with the Patreon naming rights. So, Sven, thank you very much for the support on Patreon. And I have just got another 150 Pterodon. So, if we end up doing some breeding, we'll do a, a Sven Mark II. But I figured we have to give you a name. And uh, I think Sven's a great name for a Pterodon. But yeah, thank you very much for the support on Patreon, everybody. If this Anki's coming back ashore. I can have a couple of darts and we've got it. Always an easy tame is the Anki. That's so slow. Okay. Just get some Mejos on you. And that'll certainly help us gather some metal at the base for sure and we could also do with getting a dodic I'll be planning on using plenty of stone and I'm going to build inside that cave but yeah we're making progress we're making progress that should do us for Mejo's but yeah, plans are really moving forward. Of course, we've got Genesis 2 coming out in the future. So I'm sort of building up and getting ready for Genesis 2, which will be on the cluster. And I will be, of course, covering Genesis 2. But uh, we will be keep coming back to the community server and Ragnarok. So I'm back and I've been doing some building. Now before I move on, I know I got a few comments from you guys about the boat being wonky. So I made a couple of adjustments off camera and I've sorted that wall. As you can see, it all lines up now. It was just down to putting an extra foundation down there. I also made a change on the top here as well. I'll just show you the roof was originally sort of slanting down at the front but I turned it into more of a triangle just giving it a different shape but yeah I'm pretty happy with how the uh, steamboat build turned out 
and um, we will be using it. It's actually been quite a handy start to have the boat because I've just been mooring up and grabbing loads and loads of metal and uh, it's just been quite handy while I've been looking for a base but I've been busy, I've got our sign up saying keep off the grass and I've just put some gates up. Now this probably doesn't look much but I reckon I've put a good 70 odd foundations down to make this straight but that's basically all I've done is put some foundations down and a little bit of a wall but the foundations lined up quite well with these ones that are already down here and yeah I'm really liking this area so I say plenty of metal up there and I've just kind of laid these foundations next to the existing ones there and they kind of lined up quite well it's just taken quite a lot to do it so we've got our Anki over here we've got Sven of course you are a first tame Sven but now we've got Sven Mark 2 and there might even be a Sven Mark 3 so let me show you over here. I managed to get that 150 and I tamed up another 135. So if we just have a look at the points here on the male, the male had good stats. It was just the weight was on 30 points, but the female had 36 points on the weight. So what I wanted to do was just get the weight and all of the other stats off of that dino onto the next one but unfortunately we got an oxygen mutation but it did give us the stats we wanted so as you can see here it managed to carry the weight but it also got the oxygen mutation it didn't actually give us a great color but I'm not going to go 20 mutations deep on these guys so I've just called these one mutation as you can see I mean, I've got potentially another 19 spaces, but I'm not going to fill that up. But um, I might keep on going with these just until we get a couple of colors, maybe a couple of stam or weight mutations in, and we'll make that Sven Mark free. I've just got another female here to chuck in. That will just help us get the eggs a little bit quicker. She's going to have the same stats as the parents, so we'll chuck that in. That gives us like two eggs for every one and uh, yeah I'll just keep going until I end up with some sort of interesting color I'll just um, start an imprint on this one just to show you how it goes as well in terms of the settings that we have so just want to walk so it's 33 percent so this is going to require basically three cuddles it's going to be done in just over 20 odd minutes and it's probably going to take double that to grow. So like I say, the settings we've got on here are quite kind, but you still have to do the imprinting. I've just left a little bit of space there, so I still think it's, it's pretty casual. A little bit more casual than perhaps even my single player settings, I would say. But here we go. This is a Sven Mark II. Let's just give you a little bit more weight. But yeah, with a full imprint and um, much better stats than Mark 1. Sven Mark 2 is definitely going to be able to get us around the map a lot better. And of course we can pump speed on here as well. Just come over to the little veggie patch and we have just started to grow some stuff. It's not much but there we go, got a few narco berries there. I'll just grab a little bit of veg here citronol but yeah we got a few veggies here just to get us going and I'll look forward to doing a greenhouse build some Savile root and yeah I look forward to doing a greenhouse build on the top here this has just got us started and yeah I've got all sorts of ideas for this place I mean, just look at these ruins kind of on the top here really do set it off and there's an abundance of resources here so yeah I'm quite happy with this location looking forward to doing some sort of build in here and of course really I'm just getting ready for Genesis part 2 which of course is out on the 26th of May so I will be jumping into Genesis 2 and uh, don't worry I will be coming back to Ragnarok and checking in on the community map but I'm going to be taking this character across onto the Gen 2 map 
and I won't be bringing any of the dinos with us, but I want to experiment and I figured, well, if I'm getting started now, we'll get some levels and get ready to go onto the Genesis Part 2 map and looking forward to seeing what wild card has got for us when we can get stuck into that map for sure. But um, yeah, but the community map going forward, there's a few caves to do here and I really do like Ragnarok and it's going to make a really good base home for us as well. So we're going to be doing plenty more content on Ragnarok as well. I guess next time I'll probably be looking to get myself an Argentavis. I do like them, they're pretty much my essential for gathering and hauling resources. But that's about it from me, until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.